Well, here we are out in the woods again with another Porsche Trans-Siberia tribute. And as I got to the trailhead here, I pulled up. I'm the only one here. There's nobody around. There's a sign that says bears have been seen. So yet yeah, spring, even though I'm in the mountains, they're waking up from their slumber. So you want to have your head on a pivot, put a sign like that up. So back to the uh, Cayenne. This is the second one that I've had a chance to review. Click on the card here of the first Trans-Siberia tribute uh, that I did here on the channel. So these cars are being made here in the Vancouver area. The first one was highly successful. It went on Bring a Trailer and somebody bought it in the United States and it has since rolled across the border to a new owner. And there was so much interest in that very first tribute that people asked, are there going to be more available? Well, this is the second one and there's more in the pipeline. So this is a 2004 Cayenne base model VR6. It only has 56,000 miles on it. Can you believe that? That's 91,000 kilometers here in Canada. And it has the beautiful Trans-Siberia livery on it. And what you see here in the front is all custom made. What they take is the lower valance of the existing bumper and they cut it off and they fabricate a custom light bar that is basically built right into the frame of this SUV. And also a skid plate is incorporated in that, so it's very strong. It puts these beautiful Hella lamps on display, but it also is functional. It's better for approach angles and it allows you to maybe bump over a few objects. So if you want to find out more about this particular vehicle or maybe get your name on one of the next ones that's going to be done, you want to get in touch with Core Motor Cars here in Vancouver. It's corecars.com. The link is below and you can see it on the screen. So these first generation Cayennes are actually very capable off-road. Two-speed transfer case, great all-wheel drive system, a robust platform that can go over a lot of terrain. So let's get in and I'll tell you what was done to this one. Now, the last time I was up here, first of all, there were no bear signs. <laughs> and the temperature was well below the freezing mark and the snow was crunchy and uh, the tires could grip easily. Now we're just above the freezing mark and you can see the wet slush snow that's coming down in the mountains here. And it is very, very slick. Uh, the good news is there's still quite a bit of uh, rutted road here uh, covered in snow, but it's a real test more of the tires than anything here today. So let's start with the tires and then we'll talk about what is being added. So these are an aggressive all-terrain Falcon tire, 33 inches. That's the same size you would get with the Jeep Rubicon. And the lift kit that is being added to this vehicle is two and a half inches. Now the reason why it's two and a half inches and not higher, uh, in order for it to be imported into the United States, it has to be under three inches. So there you go. Also, it doesn't affect the stock suspension. You can see this car has 17-inch uh, wheels that have been painted black. It looks really good with this livery and these uh, tires. And with the really slippery conditions here today, it really is a testament to how advanced this all-wheel drive system is. You can hear the traction control grabbing and helping the vehicle get through. So not only do you have all four wheels, you have a very advanced all-wheel drive system that is going to get the power down as best you can. There's a very steep part that I really had to just let the traction control sort of grind me over the top. Uh, I'm not going to go back there because I almost got stuck. I'm here all by myself. I don't want to try and figure it out on my own. Plus, I don't know if I told you, but there's bears around here. So I mentioned already that the first generation Cayenne is a very good candidate for this kind of vehicle. And there's one big reason why, and it's right here in the center. 
The first gen Cayenne came with a two speed transfer case. So you put it into neutral and you push the lever here and it says reduction on. Now you have a gear reduction, two speed transfer case, we're in low and you can really get the power down. Now this is not what you want for snow. You don't want extra torque in snow. It would be good for crawling over very low speed rocks or you know dirt and stuff like that. Uh, snow isn't your friend uh, for low gear. So we'll put it back into the regular reduction, the regular gearing, and that's much better for driving in snow. You don't want loads of torque in snow. You want to be able to get the grip down. And the platform for the Cayenne, also the Touareg, was made at the same time, is very stiff and capable. And when you add in that extra ground clearance with the skid plate in the front, these things can go over a remarkable amount of terrain. I've been watching a lot of videos uh, on YouTube of guys that have joined off-road clubs and they go places with their Cayennes and their Touaregs that you just wouldn't think would be possible, but absolutely, these vehicles can do it no problem at all. So who's gonna want this? Well, somebody that wants a fun vehicle. I said in the first video, I think this is a perfect uh, truck if you had a cabin, a cottage, a chalet, somewhere out in the woods and you wanted to have a fun off-road vehicle um, that you could just leave behind there when you go up on the weekends or on holidays. But if you wanted to drive this every single day, it's really quite comfortable and the extra ride height doesn't really affect the handling at all. It's very poised on the highway. I was cruising here at highway speeds to get to the mountains and it was comfortable and no problem at all. Now there's another case for these early Cayennes, especially the base models, because the VR6 engines are really very, very robust. Now this one only has 91,000 kilometers on it. That's only 56 thousand miles it's been fully serviced and updated and is ready to go any work that needed to be done on it has been done so that's that's a very low mileage example but these engines from my mechanic i've owned two cayennes i had the one that came after this the facelifted version with the slightly larger 3.6 liter engine and he told me that uh, the vr6 engines and the diesel engines are the most reliable in the cayenne family when you get into the V8s and the turbos, there can be more uh, maintenance issues, but these engines, if you maintain them properly, are very, very robust, and the gearing for this kind of application is first rate. Plus, you have that gear reduction, that two-speed transfer case, especially if you're going uh, in the dirt and over rocks. Now you probably noticed that this build does not have the basket on top. That is coming because that's where the spare tire goes. Because this vehicle has such oversized tires, they don't fit underneath, you need to put them on top. So that will be added before completion. No bears. <laughs> it's in the back of my head, psyching me out. Uh, so that's a lot of fun. This vehicle is really quite capable. These early first generation Cayennes are perfect candidates for this because the actual vehicles to buy used in the market are not that expensive. And this one is ready to go. As I mentioned, thanks to Core Motor Cars here in Vancouver for letting me have this one for the day. There's a black one coming and there's more in the works. So the reaction from the first one that went on sale on Bring a Trailer was fantastic. People really like this and people are catching on to the Cayenne and the Touareg platforms. They're very capable off-road when you put the right wheels and tires on them. So thanks for watching. We're going to do unique and different cars here every Friday on the channel. So please subscribe, hit the notification bell and we'll see you next week.